Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I am here today to do my update for the Lip Service Project Pan. This is, as I mentioned in previous videos, a Pantastic Ladies collab project. And I will include my playlist down below, which will have my intro as well as my first update. So this is going to be my second update. Yes. <laughs> like what update is this? So I am, I've mentioned this before. I'm very behind. I took a little mini hiatus, like three or four days. I needed a little bit of a break. I have a week long vacation coming up from work. During this time every year, I, I always feel like I start to get a little run down from work. And so I always take a week off at this time of the year and I'm very much looking forward to it. So it's usually just a staycation. I stay at home, catch up on things, do some spring cleaning. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And with all of that, I will be catching up on YouTube stuff editing videos, posting videos, all that good stuff. So I'll be catching up on all of my videos and hopefully posting uh, all the stuff that I'm behind on. <laughs> that is the hope. Anyway, so let me share with you the progress I have made on my lip service project, which I am very happy that I'm actually able to roll out to lip products. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that this month. I was really trying to focus on specific products kind of towards the end of the month because I was really concerned I wasn't going to be able to meet my goal on any of these products. So I was hyper focused on several and I made good progress on others. I just was I'm actually able to roll out only two, but I made pretty good progress on others. So hopefully I can roll those others out by the next update. So that is the goal. And one of the things that I did this month is I actually ended up mixing some of these lip products with either lip products that are in this project or lip products that are in other projects. And that is something that I do in general. I've done that in years past with lip products in this project. It's kind of like something that's fun for me. So Sometimes at night, what I'll do is I'll swatch all the lipsticks on my hand and I'll start mixing them and be like, what kind of color combinations can I make? Especially with the lipsticks that may be more challenging to use or if they're too dark or if they're too light or if they're too cool toned or too orange, you know, like if there's something about them that I'm not loving at the time and it could be just a seasonal thing, right? Then I will work on mixing them. So that's what I did. And I will share with you a couple of color combinations that I did that really ended up working out and that I fell in love with. Super exciting. Okay, so I will start with this lip product, which is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte and Pussycat. I did not work on this at all. Well, I shouldn't say that. I used it. It doesn't look like I used it. This is a beautiful color. I'm not gonna lip swatch. I'm not gonna lip swatch. I'm not gonna swatch all of these because I've swatched all of these so many times. Well, maybe I will. I'll, sometimes I like to show you like all the colors I'm working on. Mm. Okay, so that is Pussycat. I really do love this color. I've used it in the past month. It's just, it doesn't really show a lot of wear. I think because it's a matte lip color, it's just gonna take forever to show awareness. But you know, show awareness. It's gonna take forever to show wear in the bullet. But thankfully it's a color that I love. So it'll be fine. I'll eventually get to it. I will show the progress photo over here as I usually do. The next one that I am going to share is the Too Faced. So these are the natural nudes lipsticks. I finally figured out what they were. And this shade is overexposed. And this is a beautiful, like nudie, mauvey, beautiful color. And I really do love this shade. It's, it's a gorgeous shade. I love this color. I ended up mixing this with the next shade I'm gonna show you. And I made really good progress on this. And this is the reason why. This is the first color I'm actually able to roll out. I mixed this with Pat McGrath's Lux Trance in Lavish. So this is a chocolatey brown lipstick. It's red toned. And so that is what that one looks like. And on me, it's a little bit difficult to wear. And so I'm gonna show you on this hand what they look like on their own and then what they look like mixed. And my swatches are gonna be bad because I don't do a very good job swatching on this hand. So this is lavish. 
And this is overexposed. And then this is them two mixed. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this cools lavish down just enough. Hey guys, it's editing Jalon and I had it totally wrong in the video. So lavish is actually on the left and the color combination with overexposed is on the right. But as I was looking at the image on the video, I also didn't think it was a good representation of what the mix actually looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a photo of me re-swatching. So lavish is on the right in this image and the color combination with overexposed is on the left. Hopefully I will also have marked it on the photo as well. All right, back to the video. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Like to me, lavish, for me personally, lavish is just a little bit too bricky. I, and I know for most people they would love that, but for my skin tone is a little too bricky, but when I add overexposed to it, it's, it just, it looks beautiful. And so I, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but for me, it was just perfection. So that's how I was actually able to meet my goal on, on lavish. The other funny thing about lavish is I, I was like, oh my God, I've used so much of this bullet. Like, like I've, it looked like I had, and based on my notebook, I was like, I've used so much of this. So that is actually a color that I had rolled in from 2020. So I compared it to my notebook from 2020 because I basically just transferred in my markings from my notebook from last year. And I had the like the lines all wrong. So I looked at my book from last year and put the bullet lipstick up to the book from last year. Anyway, I met goal. It doesn't really look like it in this book in the picture I'm going to show you, but I'll show you another picture and I did need my goal on it. So yay. I'm just so glad I'm able to roll that lipstick out. Yay. So lavish is out. Okay. So the next lipstick is the Urban Decay lipstick in matte after dark. And that is this guy here. And even though it looks super dark in the bullet, I mean, it is dark, but it's definitely got more of like a, you know, a berry tone to it. And I think this is another one that I'm going to be able to mix moving forward. It's definitely a tad dark, but it goes on a bit brighter on the lips in my opinion. So this one I did not use very much at all in the last month. The next shade is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Medium. And I did use this. This is beautiful. So this is just a, you know, darker shade of her classic Pillow Talk lipstick. So that is what that one looks like. I'm going to try to cover my face so that it focuses on my hand. <laughs> so there was like one day where I wore this lipstick by like alone three or four times in a row. And so I made not a ton of progress, but you can see that there is some progress. Again, it's a matte lipstick. So I feel like matte lipsticks just don't move for me. <laughs> ah. The next shade is this Giorgio Armani lipstick in 501 and the name is Milano. And it is this beautiful um, kind of mauve pinky. It's a dark shade. And that is what that looks like. So I think this is gonna be another one that I end up mixing because I really did not make any progress on this one at all because I was focusing on some other lipsticks. So this one will get some use hopefully in April probably, and I'll probably end up mixing it with some other things. Now, this is the next one that I'm able to roll out. This is the Hourglass Confession Lipstick in You Are My. And that's what this one looks like. And these don't have a lot of product in them, but this is how much I have left in here. That's what that one looks like. And I did meet my goal on this one. It's a little bit easier to hit goal on these because there's not as much lip product in here, but you know, it did take me <laughs> three, two months to do that. But I do like this formula quite a bit. But yay, another lip product out. The next one is a product that, another product that I was really trying to focus on getting used up. This is the Marc Jacobs Lip Creme in Vinyl Dream. And this is what this one looks like. It's a beautiful plummy berry shade. So that is what that one looks like. 
And this is another one that I ended up mixing. So I made really good progress on this one, but I did not meet my goal. I am, I probably got through about half of what I needed to. No, I would say about two thirds of what I needed to get to because I really hadn't made much progress on this at all since my last update. Let me show you the color combination I did with Vinyl Dreams that helped me get to that progress. So I mixed Vinyl Dreams with this little mini of the Tarte Color Splash lipstick. I got this in like a little pack. I don't know if it was during the holidays or something. And it's in the shade Margs. And this is what this one looks like. And uh, let me do that same thing where I show you the mixed, alone and mixed. And Margs is in another project as well. So what I usually do is I try to, I look through my, my lipstick bag and I'm like, what's in here? What can I mix? <laughs> how can I double dip my my lip products and you know mix two shades that are in projects and try to get use out of two lip products don't break the lipstick <laughs> don't break it okay so this is Vinyl Dreams and this is Marks and then this is the two mixed so I feel like it tones down the purple and it makes it slightly warmer, just ever so slightly. So it's not so, for like this time of the year, it's not so jarring. And that's why I really loved that combo. I don't know why I need to look at it, but I, I don't know, I really liked that combo. So that's what I did to really work on Vinyl Dreams and I'll probably continue to use that color combination until I meet my goal on that Marc Jacobs lipstick. So yay. Yay. Now the two lip products that are left were the two that I had rolled in last month. So the first one is the Bobbi Brown lipstick. It's they're just their rouge lip color in the shade brownie. And this is what this one looks like. And I think I use this looks like I gouged it with my fingernail, whatever. I think I may have used this like once, twice, but it shows like I did a pretty decent job using it. So that is what that color looks like. And this next one I have not used at all because again, I was focusing on some other things. This one is the MAC lipstick in K3 Calderon. Okay, and that is K3 Color on by MAC. So that one, again, I didn't touch at all, but I'm hoping now that I've rolled out two of those darker tone lipsticks, I can work on these like rosier lippies, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so what about the two new lip products I'm rolling in? The first item I'm bringing in is exciting. I, well, both of these are exciting, but after I heard the announcement that Becca was closing their doors in September, I was heartbroken because one of my favorite, I have several favorite products from them. First off is their under eye concealer. I'm sorry, their under eye corrector. Love that product. I love their first light priming filter, the purple one. It's so good. And I also love their lipsticks. Amazing. So I decided to bring in this ultimate love lipstick and the shade that I'm bringing in is Sorbet. So this is what the shade looks like. So that is Sorbet. I know all these look, lipsticks look the same, but they don't look the same on my lips and they're all different formulas. This formula is amazing. I love it so much. It's creamy, it's soft, it makes your lips feel super hydrated. It is so good. Yay, I cannot wait to start using that. And this next one is super bougie. Super bougie. Oh, it's super bougie. So this is the Gucci satin lipstick in the painted veil. And that is what this one looks like. I was like, is there a cat hair on there? No. Bougie. I have a couple of the Gucci lipsticks. So that one is definitely a bit warmer, but um, yeah. I'm not quite ready to go pink pink. Like I feel like that's more of summer but I am excited to go. Obviously I'm going lighter and yes, you can tell I'm definitely going a bit lighter. So 
Hmm. Exciting. So that is my update for lip service. I'm super excited. I'm happy to have rolled out two lip products. Obviously, if I can roll out two on a monthly basis, I will hit my goal of 21 lip products where I've hit that quarter use mark throughout the year. So that is the goal for this project. High-end lip products using a quarter of what's in the bullet. And I wanna do that for at least 21 lipsticks over the course of the year. And so far we have one, two, so far I've, I've been able to roll out four. We're on our way. We are definitely on our way. So let me know how you guys are doing in this project. If this is a project that you're working on, I would love to hear. Hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Let's see if I can remember how to record because it's been a few, it's been a few days. It feels weird having straight hair. I haven't had it in so long. Do I need highlight? <laughs> maybe. I've been wearing this all day. Ooh, maybe I should wear Duo Glow. Duo Glow. No, Super Glow. Natasha Denona. But this is the wrong brush. <laughs> That's what I set my eyes with. No. Oh, I know what brush I want to use. Hmm. Oh. Too much. This is the Sonia. Whoa. Sonia G Fan Pro. so good so expansive <laughs> so good but so expansive ziggy you look like a bulldog today i am wearing essence cool nude i love this color i think it's discontinued though which is a shame eight minutes in and i've done nothing this is why i have so many extras oh you know what i did not do today and my face looks funny brows Look at the difference. This little brush from Co brush. This little mirror from ColourPop is coming in handy. This is, as I've mentioned many times before, no. I will include, <clears throat> but I kind of hyper-focused on a couple of items. I was actually hyper-focusing on like three or four, so I made pretty good progress on a couple, but um, I am able to roll out, I should say, not just, mm. I was hyper-focused on several, and I made really great progress on several which ended up being actually, oh my God. So I was able to hyper-focus on several, mm, mm, So I am super happy to report that I'm gonna be able to, <laughs> Natural nudes, that's what this lip line, lip color, that is what this um, particular, line in Too Faced's product. No. Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow, uh, Pillow Talk. Mark Jacobs. Oh my God. So let me show you, show, let me show you what I mixed. 
so let me show you the lipstick that I mixed this um Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. Hello. Your purr is so epic. Hi, baby. What you doing? I have like five videos to record. Because mama needed a break. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. I'm such a cutie pie. I loves you. Mama loves you. Okay, you gonna let me record? Okay, otherwise I'm gonna be here all night. Yes. Oh. I can't like not pet him. What a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like begging me to pet him. straightened my hair today. I couldn't with curly. It felt, like, it felt like a rat's nest, you know? So I decided to, to get it straight. I don't know why. I can't seem to look at the camera. I decided to straighten it. Oh my goodness. Toe beans. You're cute. You're cute. Oh, jeez. Who could say no to you? Who could say no to you? I need to put a picture of the day that I got him. He was so tiny. Yes, you were tiny. And you're so handsome now. <laughs> okay, you take a nap. That was one of the other cats. Okay, you take a nap. Mommy's gonna film, okay? Yeah, you take a nap, see. <laughs> take a nap, see. Oh, jeez. Your brother's coming in here. Hi, Marley. What are you doing? This is Marley. He doesn't really... <sighs> He's got pretty markings. These are my other little rescue. All, all my cats are rescues. Hey. He's not only a lap cat, though. 